Hi students, welcome to the lesson Science Year 1, Unit 9, Heard. Let's we look at surface of the heard. Number 1 is mountain. A mountain is a large landform that rises above the surrounding land in a limited area. Number 2 is a hill. A hill is a landform that is higher than the surrounding terrain and that is smaller than a mountain. Number three is a lake. A lake is an area filled with water localized in a basin surrounded by land. Number four is a pond. A pond is a body of water smaller than a lake. Number five is river. A river is a stream of water that flows through a channel in the surface of the ground. Number six is sea. The sea is the interconnected system of all the Earth's organic waters. Number seven is a valley. A valley is a low area between hills or mountains, typically with a river running through it. And the last one is the beach. A pebbly or sand shore, especially by the sea, between high and low water marks. These are the surface of the hut. Let's we look at types of soil. There are three types of a soil. Number one is garden soil. Now, I'm also inside the garden soil because the garden soil is enriched with compost and other organic matter, so it is nutritious for the planting. And the second one is the sand. Sand is a granular material composed of finely divided rock and mineral particles. Sand is not a suitable for the planting because sand has no any nutrients compost materials to for the gardening. And the last one is clay. Clay is a type of fine grain natural soil material. So these are the three types of the soil. Number one is that Garden soil, number two, sand, and the last one is the clay. That's all for the first session of the herd. Thank you. Hi, students. Welcome back. Okay, this is the part two of the unit nine, herd. Soil contents. Okay, as what we have learned in the part one, that have the three types of soil. That is a garden soil clay and sand okay let's we look at the first one what are the contents that we found in the garden soil is it water decaying animals very fine soil particles and small stones decaying animals is meaning okay it is a meaning that um, twig and also the dry leaves that is meaning of the decaying animal you must okay uh, the next one we go to clay contents clay content it just have clay there's a water and sand that's all there are only the two particles in the clay content eh? in the clay okay so and the next one is the sand content sand content have a uh, three layers that is a uh, water sand particles and also small stones this is the water okay sand particles and the last one is small stones so these are the 
contents of the soil. So that's all for the part two of the herd. Okay, thank you very much for listening to the lesson. Thank you all. See you all again. Bye bye.